everyone and welcome to Jojo's Brick Time. Today I'll be building the JM Bricklayer German Express locomotive. So it's 140 US dollars. It comes with 2,348 pieces and I think my fingers are going to be sore again from building this. But I really like that green colour. It looks like a replica locomotive train. So we've got some train tracks here and we get 32 of those, so 16 curved and 16 straight pieces. And they are stuck together, oh with these pins in the middle there. That's cool to keep them all together and not um, get damaged. They look pretty cool. Plastic looks alright on these actually. So the design of this train is inspired by the steam trains from the industrial period. Oh, you get a control there, like a remote control, because this train drives around. Those are some little LED lights. This is a bag of just lackeys and bits and pieces to pop on the train. That is the little engine part. Else do we have here and that's a steamer so this actually produces steam you'll see that later it looks pretty cool so we get seven five I think there's seven bags in total in this and they're nicely numbered which is good it makes it a lot easier to build that's the rechargeable battery pack oh here's the instructions let's see we get a little set of stickers so not too many there and then this is the instructions feels really nice and there's the remote control or you can power it with your phone but I prefer the remote control now let's just check these to see if they're pretty easy to read yeah looks okay so far I also like that each section tells you which bag number you're doing so you're not having hundreds of parts scattered everywhere. So this is what comes in the whole set, which is quite a bit. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's build! So on these parts here I had to put the little stickers on. So that's the little engine part and that's the steamer. You actually have to put water into the steamer and steam will come out. It's pretty cool. Let's start this train off. Lots of Technic parts again and you've got to make sure you put all the pins in correctly and all the cogs otherwise it won't work. So whenever I build these sets I always test out in stages so I know that they work correctly. This is the motor and you've got to pop it in here and make sure it's sitting correctly against that cog otherwise it won't work. And there's the steamer part and this is the battery pack and it's rechargeable lithium battery. Let's continue on building. I really like the dark green colour of this train with the red contrast. It really looks like a replica of one of the original trains which is I think what the look they were going for. Over here I'm just popping in the LED lights because the train has two LED lights that shine at the front there. And I need to make sure I pop all these wires in correctly so I need to hide them. And I need to make sure I don't pinch them as well because you don't want to damage the wires. This train has quite a lot of realistic features that you find on one of these trains. So the train driver cockpit's pretty detailed and we've got some knobs there that you can see all the dials and things like on a real train. And you open up that little bit to throw all the coal into the train there to generate the steam. Now I don't know what to do with all these wire parts because it doesn't really show you on the instructions so bear with me I don't know if they're meant to come out here. So I've pulled out some wires there on the side I'm not sure. It's all trial and error. <laughs> I'll work it out. So 
far there's been quite a lot of you know different build techniques here lots of angles and different use of parts which I like so it's not just like a simple straightforward build so there's a bit involved and you really got to read the instructions so you don't miss any parts These wires, I don't think they're meant to be here. It's not looking right. I have done something wrong. I need to pop these bars along here, but the wires are in the way. Um, let me see here. See, over here, it doesn't tell you where to put them. Mm, I'll work it out. Hang on. All right, so I have poked them all inside. So they're nice and neat in there. <laughs> now they look a lot better. But you got to make sure you don't pinch them. So you, you got to be very gentle with them. That's looking a lot better. All right, I'll continue popping all the details on the train now. This build is definitely for the more advanced builder. Oh, here we go, some wheels. I'm using the rubber bits. And you've got to make sure you put the wheels on the right way, I found. So, yeah, that's a big wheel that needs to go at the front there. So there's two that are a different size. And there's just some finishing details that I'm putting on the train also. To make it look like one of those old locomotives. All right, so I've got to do the same thing on this side of the train. So that's all on there. And now this is just the little wheels underneath. And they move around underneath. That's so it can go around on the track. See how it moves there. And then I need to do a set of those, slightly different for the back of the train. This button here is to turn the train on and off once you have charged it because you get like a USB charger to charge it. This is another detachable section of the train. So this is where they would have kept the coal because it's a steam powered train. They used coal to power it. And I like how this is built. You get the little doors in there. So they would have gone in there, used a shovel to get all the coal out. Nice build techniques used in this section also. is a really powerful magnet because later you'll be attaching a train carriage and these are just some decorative parts that go underneath so there's a lot of decorations in this set So that's the coal carriage done. It's looking really nice. Time to attach it to the train there with that pin. And on it goes. Look at this. Oh, a little part fell off there. I don't know if it was a sausage or the arm part. I think it was the arm part. And now is the carriage where all the passengers would have gone. Now I really like the colours of this and they have made it look really, to the time period really, the different textures and colours used inside. So there's going to be some seating in here and you'll see the window techniques in this are wonderful. 
This train carriage definitely looks like an upper class train carriage with all the little details there with the little lamp and the flower pot and the seating looks super comfortable like buffet style seating. I love the gold pinstriping detail also. It does make it look more elegant and a more upper class train carriage. I like how these transparent panels are used on its sides to make them look like long windows. So great techniques there. I really like the use of the 1x2 transparent plates there above the windows. So it makes the windows look like they've got the textured old classic look. And these are going to be heavy drapes here on the train. So they're in that deep red colour there, make them look really expensive and that old fashioned look. And at the top here there are tiles because this roof that I'm building right now will be removable. So you can put your mini figs inside and they can ride on the train. These are just the end bits for the roof and they'll be stuck on. They're not really detachable, these sections, but they don't need to be. That just holds all that carriage in place. So I'll just click everything in, make sure everything is secured properly. And now I just need to do the wheels underneath for this train. And there's gonna be like little steps on the sides also. Here we go, the carriage is done. Now I need to attach that with that powerful magnet. I'll turn the train on, the little lights are on, and I'll just test it out before I put it on the track. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, the wheels are spinning around. It's actually quite fast. Okay, now here's the track. So you click them all together like this. Here's the USB charging lead, so I'm charging the train up and the little green light flashes to let you know it's charging. And I will drop in a few drops of water and look, steam's coming out! So don't put too much water in, otherwise it won't steam. Let's test this train out. Now the train tracks were way too big to be on my table there that I normally record on. I had to put it on the floor. And it's driving around quite smoothly. It does take a little bit of time to actually put the train on the track properly. But once you get it on there, it's great. And there's the little steam happening. I'm gonna have to do a close-up of this because it looks pretty cool. Look at that. It's steaming and driving at the same time. That looks so good. This is a great train set for any train lover. It is a bit of an expert build, so it's not really meant for smaller kids. There are parts that fall off sometimes, but once you click it all in, it's all good. So everyone, get your bricks out. 